That's right, uh, Joyce and Kathy. We got an exclusive look inside the Desert Dome here. It has actually been closed since Saturday. And yes, we spoke to the director of the domes for the first time, and here's what she had to say about the damage. The misperception is the domes are falling down. That is not correct. The domes, like any aging facility, has little nooks and crannies and cracks. Domes director Sandy Falleron showed us exclusively where a piece of concrete debris fell in the desert dome, which we saw from a safe distance. On the catwalk, it was not in the public pathway, as you see. How big of a piece of concrete are we talking about? It was just a two by two uh, piece of concrete. Falleron says the domes are inspected on a regular basis and that crews have found smaller chip-like debris pieces in the past. I think maybe the two by two inch was a little disconcerting because up to this point we've been finding more chips, uh, much smaller chips. So, but it was enough of a concern that the county exec decided it was worthy of closing the dome to continue the inspections. Knowing that there's been falling debris, however small or however big, for a few years now, have you ever worried for your safety? Never. Never, never. Have you worried for the safety of your guests and the employees here? No. Now, the future of the domes hinges on the results of these current inspections. He'll give us some options for making the dome safe to allow the public back in. And back live, the county does want to hear from you about the domes. They are holding a public hearing on February 24th. Joyce, the domes are expected to be closed for at least three months. We are live at the Mitchell Park Domes tonight. Sheldon Dutas, WISN 12 News.